man that has a calling on their life. And God wants you to come. He doesn't want you to miss out on this beautiful sermon. You cannot miss out on it. Because God has a plan for you. Because you are his baggage. Thank you. 
you suffer. Praise God, it must be an uh, extra something condition. <laughs> no, establishment. Establishment of a ministry for women so they can go out and get people. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Sister, right there. Right here. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Page. Thank you, Lord. Now, you know the young girl right there in the middle. I sat beside you yesterday. Come on, baby. Thank you, Jesus. And bring your sister with you. Or uh, your daughter, whoever. Bring her with you. Yesterday, I wanted something to drink, so, and she had a pineapple pop. <laughs> and I said, take these two of the wild ones, but let me have yours. <laughs> She gave it to me. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. Now, things can seem funny. It's not funny. But God is saying he doesn't want this message to go to waste. And it's coming back. So don't sit down. Yes, ma'am. Sharon. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you. Now, I have missed about five people. And I don't want to do that, so you just come. This God wants to have women who are going to dedicate themselves to going out doing the work. Because in Jeremiah, he says, I know the plans I have for you. And the only reason that you don't know, you have to ask him. And so God is saying, today, I've got a plan for you. Now, I can't tell you what your plan is right now. now if I was close enough to you, I might tell you. But I wouldn't tell you. God's going to tell you what you have to do for him. I want you just to bow your heads. Uh, and I, there's somebody I call. Oh, God, I don't believe anybody out there. Where are you? Come on, sister. Come on, yes, yes. Patricia, I know you don't want to be left out there. There's some of you who want to do something for God, and nobody said come and do it. Hallelujah. He said, go into the highways and the edges. Go. And you can't just sit and go. You can't keep the TV on and go. You have to ask God. You have to dedicate your life to doing what it is because you are the body of Christ. Yeah. The body of Christ has eyes, ears, hands, feet. All those things you have to do for him. God does not come down he does it through you. And he gives you gifts. My sister said this morning, she is my sister, I love her. I love her. She said the first thing you have to do is make sure the Holy Spirit is active.